What if I told you that winning a state championship wasn't the most important event for the players of Desert Ridge High School? What if I told you that the adage, it's just a game, was lived out by a baseball team that honored something more precious than a championship trophy? This is the story of one such baseball team who chose to put others before themselves. As coaches, we were constantly reminding our players to set their priorities. We always wanted to make sure they understood that there are more important things in life than high school baseball. You never really know what type of impact you have on your players until they go out and do something on their own. Life provided our players with an opportunity to show us, as coaches, just how much they had listened. On January 8, 2009, Nolan Smith, age 6, and Frank Smith V, also known as CJ, age 11, were killed in an automobile accident. The boys were riding in a Saturn with their parents, Tracy and Frank Smith IV, and a family friend. According to the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, a Nissan pickup failed to stop at the four-way intersection and hit the car at a high rate of speed. The crash also injured the boys' parents, Frank and Tracy. The boy's great-grandfather, Frank Smith Jr., said he was helping to clean off the blood from the boy's father in the emergency room when he asked if he was cut anywhere else because there was so much blood. He said, that's not my blood, Grandpa. That's my boy's blood. When we heard about the accident, we as coaches were getting ready for our baseball camp that we hold for kindergarten through eighth grade since it was only a week away. We had learned that CJ and Nolan had previously attended the past summer camp and were registered for this one in January. So the team got together and wanted to do something for the Smith family to let them know that their kids would always be a part of Desert Ridge Baseball. So we invited the entire community out to our first region game and made it CJ and Nolan night. We were wearing shirts specifically made to honor them and we constructed two baseballs with their names on it to hang in the outfield. From then on, we referred to them as our little angels in the outfield, and I know the team believed they were always watching from that point on. That year, we made it through the regular season with a 24-5 record and earned the number one seed going into the playoffs. We won four straight playoff games and made it into the championship game against our rival, the Huskies of Horizon High. Now, Horizon was the defending state champ and had won two out of the last three, so even though we were the higher seed, it felt like we were the underdog. Now it was our tradition for the starting pitcher to pick the uniform for the next game, and then I would relay that info to the head coach. We had been winning with different combinations, so I was curious to see what superstition would win out. So I asked Jake what uni he wanted, without hesitation. CJ Nolan shirt, red tops, gray hat. The championship game couldn't have started off better for us. We had the Arizona Gatorade Player of the Year in our starting pitcher, and we stake him to a 7-0 lead after five innings. Then the wheels come off, and we can't get anyone out. And they just start scoring runs and scoring runs and scoring runs, and all of a sudden, eight cross the plate in the top of the sixth, and Horizon takes the lead. Now, as a coach, I feel for our kids at this point. I wonder if they have any fight in them to come back. But then I remember just how well they handled the CJ and Nolan night and how they had constantly played for Frank and Tracy because they knew how much joy they got out of seeing Desert Ridge win. Bottom of the sixth, we tie the ball game. Top of the seventh, our angels in the outfield helped make what was called the catch. Desert Ridge trying to get to the bottom of the seventh inning still tied. And a fly ball hit well and out to right center. Going to be a long run out there. And a diving catch to take away a run out in center field. Kyle Rady with the grab and will go to the bottom of the seventh, tied at eight. Bottom of the seventh, in almost the exact same spot as the catch, Travis provides be next the hit. Flores can prolong the inning and Desert Ridge does not score. There's a ball driven into the gap. That's going to do it as Desert Ridge will come around and score the winning run, 9-8. Call it an RBI 
RBI single for Flores, and Desert Ridge wins it. They've got two mobs, one behind the plate and one out in the infield. It was Desert Ridge's first state championship of any sport, and it was celebrated throughout the week. However, the most poignant moment of the entire night and the entire semester and the entire season was just after the trophy was given out, one of our seniors took off his jersey, found Frank and Tracy in the stands, held up the CJ and Nolan shirt, pumped his fist in celebration as tears ran down his face.